Difficult conditions could stifle bats at the newly renovated Shanauer Field. Jim Kalawiak has his young bunch of Cardinals soaring in the early season, already 14-2 and looking to take down the University of Chicago. Freshman Bree Adams on the mound, entering with a 4-1 record. Opening up with a scoreless game in the top of the second, and Adams has already recorded two outs. But Maddie Mudrick beats out an infield single and then takes second base at a wild pitch. Sky Collins up next and sends a rope that somehow finds the back of Adams' mitt. That's a third out, threat eliminated. Bottom half of the frame and Samantha Gadomski trying to spark a cardinal rally by slashing one right side for a single. She also advances to second on a pass ball with one away in the frame. But maroon pitcher Bethany Regineris gets a strikeout and a ground out and that ends the inning. Top of the third now and Adams is continuing to deal. Uses the changeup to get Colleen Bennett out in front. Such a nasty pitch, it's a drop third, but it still gets the out. And to finish the inning, how about a nifty play at second base by Godomsky, who uses the basket catch for the putout. Moving to the bottom of the third and Adams at the dish with a runner aboard. The pitcher slices one to right, puts Rachel Bellatini at third, so runners on the corners, there's two outs in the inning. But both pitchers moving in and out of danger. As Rezneris snags the chopper and gets the easy out at first, we're scoreless through three. Top of the fifth and the Maroons are thinking about a two-out rally. Bennett back up, pulls one left side and beats out the throw from Taylor Clugston, one aboard. Next up, Samantha Loro, and she takes an outside pitch and deposits it into left field. After Loro swipes second base, Katie O'Connell steps in and shoots a liner to right, clearing the bases and giving the Maroons a 2-0 lead after four and a half innings. O'Connell two for two in the contest. Shifting to the bottom of the sixth and the Cardinals getting shut out. Once again, it's Adams providing the spark, sends a base hit to the opposite field, a one-out single. Next up is 458 hitter Molly Can, and she sends a shot left side, picked up at the shortstop, but everybody's safe. The Cardinals have a rally brewing. And sure enough, Kodomsky coming up big with a single over the shortstop's outstretched glove to knock in Adams. 2-1, U of Chicago leads. Unfortunately for the Cardinals, the inning comes to an end with a bouncer to second, and we go to the seventh with North Central trailing by a run. Last chance now for North Central, and the senior, Clugston, sends a floater into left center, reaches base with a leadoff single. Next up is Emily Miller, who's hitting 450 this season, and she sends an awkward chopper to the shortstop, and then beats out the throw to put the first two runners aboard. However, the excitement ends there with the Cardinals ending the game by going strikeout, fielder's choice, walk, and then ground out. North Central losing 2-1, but bounces back to win game two, 7-2 to the final there. I was feeling pretty good, and we all had a good game defensively, so that helped out a lot um, for everyone. They've been doing good all year. Um, I think <laughs> it's important that we all like work together in the infield. Um, it's not like just a one-person game. Everyone has to contribute, so I think we've been doing well with that. We always talk about like teamwork and we have to play together. Um, we're, we've been pretty strong offensively this season, which has helped, but also um, defensively. Definitely to get to know each other better so we can play together better. Um, but hopefully make it pretty far into playoffs. I feel like it's really different being a leadoff hitter. There's a lot of different responsibilities for you. You have to watch as many pitches as possible so everyone else can see the pitcher. But other times I just see the first pitch and hit it and I'm like, well, not, someone else can figure it out. It's been great. Um, going into the season, we have a lot of new girls, a lot of new faces. We weren't really yeah. sure what was going to happen this season. So being able to see that we can manufacture a lot of runs in an inning, it's very reassuring. And it's definitely good as a hitter to go into the box and be like, okay, I'm going to get on and I can trust my teammates to also get me on or do something that's going to make us productive. <laughs> the whole game was so infuriating because it's like, if you looked, there wasn't any like, oh, we were, weren't like hitting the ball. Everyone was making solid contact. Their shortstop and their second baseman were making really good plays on us. And then at the other time, it'd be like just a nice little Sunday hop to them that you're like, oh, if that just would have taken one more bounce, you probably would have bobbled it, probably would have missed it. So, and that's what happens in this game. You know, you can't control everything. It's just leaving it up to chance, basically. There's a reason why everyone's batting averages are below 500 because things like that happen. So it's just knowing that you can't get frustrated about that and just moving on to the next at bat. It's very reassuring to know that no matter what happens, if we get into a hole like that, we can still trust our hitters. I still am going to be able to trust anyone who gets in that box that, yeah, 
yes, they can get a hit right now. They can do it. They can get the job done. It's very reassuring to be on the bench and have 100% trust in your teammates, be on the field and have 100% trust in your teammates. Bree's been doing great this season already, and really as a freshman coming in with, you know, there's a lot of pressure on you as a freshman. You want to be that starting. You want to do what you can, and she's done a great job. She pitched a great game today, especially today with our conditions like like. Uh, we had a new catcher today that she's not normally throwing to, so the fact that she was just able to really do a good job and overcome everything, she did great today.